today I'm going to go get my hair done for cynical. Um, so this is like, it's kind of a big deal because I literally, I literally have to like anyone touch my hair. So I 
I just didn't have as much time to like shoot. It's like hella cute, right? So I'm, I'm a pink girl, I'm not gonna lie. I'm one of those pink supremacist bitches. I love pink, obviously. Yeah, I'm gonna go get waxed now. Peace, I'll see you guys after. So I'm here about to get waxed, but I'll just link my wax ladies Instagram right here. If you're in 747, she's really good. Hey guys, so I just got my waxings. I feel great, it wasn't too bad, like it was good. And it's very well worth it. If you get waxed, then you know. It'd be hurting in the moment, but it's very cool of you. I got my legs, my belly, like a um, happy trail, and then I also got a Brazilian and my arm beats. Just this. Look, you know, when I was laying on the table, bro, I started feeling something kick in. Like, I don't even want nothing kick in. It's like my, my hips started like hurting a little bit because, you know, I didn't, I didn't, I'm not eating. I'm just doing my liquid. Thank you. 
tested again while I'm actually in Senegal because of my agreement with the school since I am unvaccinated. Yes, I am unvaccinated. I mean, feel how you feel about it. Either way, it's like my body and you shouldn't judge me based off my decision to do stuff with my body, you know? And I don't feel like it's it's weird that like the medical records are so public now because like that's actually really sensitive and personal information. But don't judge me off of that. And if you do judge me off of that, then you're like shitty. But yeah. So that's where that's where my mind is right now. I'm gonna show you guys what her braids look like when I'm done. I'm just heading back now. Her appointment's literally in like 20, 30 minutes, so I gotta do that. But yeah. Okay, my job.
tennis courts, right? All these shits are locked. So this is the meal I'm breaking my fast with. It's crab dip, pita chips, shrimp, fries. So my New Year's celebration was actually a lot more intimate than I had anticipated. And I'm actually very thankful for that. It ended up being my friend and two of his other friends. And then, of course, his family. So it actually only ended up being about four of us. So it was really good that I wasn't around too many people. And plus, we had like a lot of fun playing games. And it was really nice to have that genuine interaction to bring in the new year. So now this brings us to New Year's Day. Um, new Year's Day was actually the day that I headed back home. But before I went back home, I decided to go to my favorite park and spend some time alone. I really love this spot because it's a place I can come to when I really need to reflect and release and I thought this was the perfect way to start my day on New Year's and especially with me opening this new, tra this new chapter of my life with traveling abroad. This will be my first time out of the country so I really wanted to set some really good intentions and make sure that my focus was where it was supposed to be. So what I actually ended up doing was a releasing ceremony. So I have a container that's filled with ashes of incense that I burn every day during my morning routine. And I release these ashes into the water, into the flowing water in order to signify me releasing my past self and welcoming in the new me for this new year. I prayed while I was doing this and it was actually pretty emotional for me because I know that everything that's coming towards me and everything that has been in my life is all from God and I have so much to be grateful for and it's just very overwhelming sometimes to think about that even though I'm sure 2022 will have its struggles I know that this year is going to be such an amazing year filled with growth and experience and I'm just ready to take it on head on so this is me um, releasing the ashes into the water releasing the, that past me from last year welcoming in the new me, welcoming in everything that's going to flow to me during 2022. I really thank you for watching this video and sticking with me on this journey. I will update you guys with a video probably next week um, on Sunday. But yeah, thank you so much for watching.